Welcome to a video. Black jacket Friday. Sorry, black jacket Sunday, everyone. Today, uh, just freaking guess what we're reacting to. I will stab your dad. Um, anyways, just guess what we're reacting to. Uh, we are reacting to uh, I am Roka. Not I am Roka. We're reacting to Snarl. This yeah, it's. Can kind of the same genre? Yeah, go it. subscribe to Snard even though they didn't reach out to us. Please. They did. They didn't reach out to us, but yeah. freaking subscribe. Otherwise, I will stab you. Down. Let's watch uh, this one thing he called a hot friend. There is something dangerous abducting children in this area. Oh my god. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Want to hear something scary? I don't. I don't. <laughs> Tall, slender woman. Slender woman. Oh, gender equality, Macha. Hachi Shaku Sama. Eight feet tall. Hachi, right? Hachi, yeah. Hachi is Hachi, yeah. My parents would take me there on holiday to visit them. The last time I saw them was the summer when I was eight years old. My grandparents were inside the house and I was playing by myself outside in the backyard. Yeah. yeah. He plays by themselves yes. when they're eight, dude. Exactly, dude. You have friends. Here in Japan, there's like shitload of overpopulation. Just go somewhere and play yeah. with someone. Hi, I'm a and ball. What she, and she's just bouncing down. She's like. I mean, I could technically, I would, I could do that. I've been doing, I, I, spa, I spun in a chair with a mirror. People who do know. that are. are Insane. <laughs> Very, yeah, very creative gone. also. So the lockdown, right? It yeah. triggered so many people to go insane. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> and then they murder people. I heard a strange sound. Boom! Boom! I didn't know what it was, yeah. and it was hard to figure out where. It's it was a demon from. gull. Yeah. I was looking around. Searching for the source of the noise, when I noticed something on top of the tall hedges that enclosed the backyard. It was a straw hat. It was resting on the Beanie boy. It was behind it. Beanie. That's where the sound was coming from. Then the hat began to move. It stopped at a small gap in the hedge, and I could see a face peering through. It was a straight off her neck. Head. Looks like someone strangled her. <laughs> He's like, oh, freaking like lines and shit. She has a. Does she have a freaking like Adam's apple? Man. Hedges were high, almost eight feet tall. I was surprised at how tall the woman was. I wondered if she was wearing stilts. You know, or some sort of she she looks actually she looks emotionless. She look. Actually, I was very scared at that point. You know, when my dad died, my mom yeah, died, my, my grandma died. Mom died. There was this eight so, feet tall demon coming yeah, at me and yeah. ate my so, face. Yeah. Yes. Huge high heeled shoes. Then a split second later, she walked off. And the strange noise disappeared with her, <laughs> fading into the <laughs> When that happens, you don't tell your grandmom. You go to the police when you find an. I, how dumb is an eight-year-old? When I was whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> when I was eight, I knew who Galileo Galilei was. When I was eight, I knew who was Ferdinand. When I was eight, I knew the number for the police. When I was eight, I used to call the police itself. I got up and ran back into the house. My grandparents were in the kitchen drinking tea. I sat down at the table and told my grandparents what I had seen. They weren't really paying attention to me until I mentioned that distinctive sound. Boo. They both Boo. froze. Boo. Grandma's eyes grew wide. <laughs> both of them at the same time. Synchronous. Grandpa's face became very serious and he grabbed me by the arm. This is very important, he said, very intensely. How tall was she? As tall as the garden hedge? Where was she standing? When did this happen? What did you do? Did she see you? I tried to answer all those questions as best as I could. He rushed out to the hallway and made a phone call. I couldn't hear what he was saying, but after he hung up, he walked out the door. Grandma, what's going on? Grandma, what's going on? There's something in this abducting somebody. children Please? in this area, he Please? said. We call it Hachi Shakusa. Oh, there was just about to be a jump scare, but then I paused <laughs> it. Uh, <laughs> and there was no noise. It just okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she like the the ah! didn't happen yet. So it takes on the appearance of an extremely tall woman and says <laughs> in a deep voice. 
By monks, oh, Dada Ji, let's get this thing. Oh, the tall woman just squish it like this and put it in a house and then put like dolls around it and want exit the house. And, and then keep the house broken. What That's is wrong, wrong with you? The house it's is a soul. Freaking soul. I don't even think. Do you think ghosts are real? No. Yeah, I don't know. Nobody thinks ghosts are real. Small let's continue with the video. Statues that they placed at the north, south, east, and west of the ruins. Not all these west news. So that it could not escape. You know what I would have done? If I, if I were the king of this place, no, yeah. I would have placed actual four Shaolin monks over there. <laughs> Just actual four Shaolin monks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ghost exists. Kill it. The last time it appeared was 15 years ago. My grandmother said that anyone who saw it was destined to die within a few days. Grandma came back, but with an old woman who called herself Kason. Kason. They Kaysan. took me upstairs to my bedroom and began covering the windows with newspaper. Like L, but no, K. San shouldn't be in the name. San is just to give respect. Yeah. So her name is K. Is it, her name is K, like L. With ancient runes written all over them. Kason placed small bowls of salt in all four corners of the room and a small Buddha figure in the center. Soon the sun will be setting, so listen carefully. You must stay in this room. Why does her voice sound so demonic? Yeah, it's almost like Hachi Shaku Sama's voice. Do not open this door for any reason. She placed a bucket in my hand. Not even to use the restroom. My grandparents... Very unnecessary detail, but okay. I couldn't believe what was happening. Was I really gonna die in a few days? I turned on the TV to try to take my mind off everything, and eventually fell... Now for a PSA. Am I gonna return with your oh shit, I forgot to remove cannon burns. Okay. Welcome to PSA Method of editing who is lazy. Um, I'm, I can't edit. I've been editing this shit for five days, dude. Five entire days. I can't do this anyways. Um, what the adjustment is, um, you won't see me and Adu reacting on the top of the box. We'll just, like, after the clip is played, we'll come and talk about our points or something. So, yeah. Next video will be with the box. Oh my god, this people is so freaking visible. I don't care. PSA out. I was awakened around 1 a.m. by a tapping sound on the window. Because the tree taps, right? Yeah. Definitely, trees are mobile enough. <laughs> mobile enough. It just has extended hands. Just. It's probably just a tree or something, I told myself. Then came a knock on the door, and I heard my grandpa's voice. Are you okay in there? If you're scared, I can come keep you company. Hearing his voice was such a relief that without thinking, I rushed over to the door. But something didn't feel right. I looked at the bowls of salt in the room. All four of them had turned black. Because salt bowls can turn black in the presence of a ghost, right? Oh, because that's science. Let's see. How does... Salt turn black. Yeah, it's definitely not because of uh, black pepper, like loads of black pepper mixed in there. What? Or it's just fake. Yeah. Fake, completely fake. Or you could uh, some color. Or it's real and we're insane. Yeah. Or it's not real and they're insane. And then I heard the sound again. The tapping on the window continued. I knelt in front of the Buddha and began to pray. I was so terrified and caught up in my chanting that I didn't realize the sounds had stopped. I checked my watch. It was 7.30 a.m. They literally said they... <laughs> You can't change your destiny. You can't. No, you can't. Destiny will predict that you can change your destiny. So, yeah. Yeah. Once you do an action, you can't change it. But if you read or like if you do an other action, you might. Actually, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Carefully, I opened the door and ran to my grandparents. We all got in a van and headed straight for the airport. Apparently, there were others who had escaped the grasp of Hachisakusama as long as they never stepped foot in Japan again. So two years ago, when my grandpa got sick, he refused to let me visit him. He even left strict instructions in his will to not let me attend his funeral. I couldn't believe that this creature prevented me from saying goodbye to him. So when my grandma called a few days ago to tell me she had been diagnosed with cancer, I wasn't gonna let her stop me from visiting. It's been 10 years, grandma, and nothing has happened to me. We don't even know if this thing is real. I'm not gonna let it stop me from seeing you. If you say so, dear. 
I love you, Grandma. I'll see you soon. Next video. Next video. Okay. Some epic noob pro hacker stole his black jacket, so yeah. uh, we just don't have it. React to the second video, which is whatever it is. <laughs> it's the. Uh, it's the. Kuchi sake onna. Onna. Onna, bro. Onna. During the Japanese Heian period. Aww. 1000 years ago, when the Japanese Heian period was there, there was this woman. Named uh, Around a thousand years ago, a samurai was married to a beautiful woman. She was the object of everyone's affection, and she knew it. She was? She would walk around town and ask those who stared, Am I pretty? The samurai was not happy with the attention she was eliciting. Obviously, why would he be like happy with it? My wife is going around town, hey, Am I pretty? Dude? Yeah, you are! And when he discovered she was being unfaithful, he wanted her to pay. Pay because you're being unfaithful. Not dump her face and go. Just kill her. Stop moving. Maybe, I don't know. Stop moving. One day, armed with a knife, he attacked her. He pressed the blade into her cheek and slit her mouth ear to ear, leaving her with a bloody, twisted grin. Ear to ear, freaking like this much. Like smile. If I was like that, would you still watch my videos? You wouldn't. Shut up. Who will think you're beautiful now? Soon after, she died and returned to Earth as an angry spirit named Kuchisake Ona, the slit mouthed woman. <laughs> slit mouthed, oh my god, she looks like a. She could eat a taco. <laughs> Yeah, her mouth is shaved into perfect taco. Yeah, you're just like, I'm done, you're dead. In the late 1970s, a countrywide panic broke out after numerous people claimed to have encountered Kuchisake Ona. More police officers were assigned to night duty. Students were required to walk home in pairs after school. What? If there's two people, it won't kill her. <laughs> two people enjoy more. People took extra precautions to avoid this vengeful spirit because any encounter would be deadly. If you are walking alone, she will appear around a corner wearing a trench coat and a surgical mask. In Japan, her attire would not seem out of the ordinary. Yeah, just people walk around with this freaking a trench coat and a mask. Hi, my name is Mithun. Am I pretty? Since it was common for people to wear such masks to prevent the spread of germs. British spread of Corona. Corona goes in your face and then he explodes your tired systems. You will assume she is just an ordinary woman. Then she will approach you. <laughs> she was <just> like, hi, am I pretty? And ask, am I pretty? If you say, no. She will pull out her long pair of scissors and kill you on the spot. And if you say, yes, she will bring her face closer and peel back her mask to reveal her disfigured mouth. Am I pretty now? No matter how you respond afterwards, your fate will remain the same. However, a few school children discovered a way to trick Kuchisa. How did a few school children figure out the way instead of a Adult so, from a military person or something. Some person could have figured it out. If a school children don't. Kiona. When she asked. Asks her question. Responding with an ambiguous. So so. So so you. So so So. Would confuse her long enough for you to make your escape. It's like that Pokemon thingy where it's like, use confusion! What? what? And then you could run away. Do you dare to try your luck? No, I'm not going to. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to Japan. <laughs> I'm going to Japan. I'm going to live there if this stupid bitch comes at me. I'll freaking like, hey, what? So fine. And I run away. <laughs> Sat here editing it for two hours, but yeah, the most important thing is go listen to my freaking podcast. It's called Talk Over Tales. Listening to listen to it on any uh, streaming platform that you choose. Um, and also yeah, uh, subscribe to this channel because 
I just realized that every video that I don't say subscribe, I don't get subscribers. So just say subscribe. Just saying subscribe helps, I think. So if you want to help and make me a little bit happier with my life, <laughs> subscribe. All right. I got 132 subscribers. All right. When I get 150, there's a big special occasion coming. Okay. So get me to 150.